Hi, I'm Tim Burke and this is my guide to Sir John in Love by Vaughan Williams. If you're interested in opera, writing love letters to residents of Windsor or rollicking folk dances, you've come to the right place. Please do comment on this video, share it with your friends on Facebook and follow my Facebook page to see more videos. The team in the office of English Touring Opera have asked me to pick five of my favourite operas for their opera in the office this week and Sir John in Love is the one I picked today so I hope you enjoy it. We most often think of opera as something from Italy or at least in Italian. The exceptions to the rule are mainly opera from France or Germany. I think we sometimes have a lack of belief that English opera can be any good. Sir John in Love is an opera with spectacular tunes and lush orchestrations that's really submerged in obscurity. Like much of Vaughan Williams's work, it's bursting with folk melodies from the melancholy to the toe tapping, but it also shows his weird side, the unearthly atmospheres he can conjure through some really left field harmonies. The opera is about Sir John Falstaff, who is going through some sort of Elizabethan midlife crisis. He's a big drinker and a bit of a swindler. He attempts to woo two married women and squeeze some money out of them. The two ladies get their revenge on him in a spectacular moment of public humiliation. It's an adaptation of Shakespeare's play The Merry Wives of Windsor. It was originally called The Fat Knight and was premiered by students at the Royal College of Music, London, on the 21st of March 1929. It wasn't performed by professionals until 1946, which is quite staggering given how famous Vaughan Williams was as a composer in the 1930s. The three best bits are Anne Page's aria from the first act, Weep Eyes Break Heart. It starts simply and gets more and more moving. The introduction to act two, it's very much music in quote marks like repurposed per cell. It shows us Falstaff's pomposity but also his quirkiness. chorus comes in with that breathtaking Vaughan Williams otherworldliness before breaking into a rollicking folk dance. Pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. 